Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Paul here. Um, okay, tonight, um, well, this is going to go out uh, probably on Wednesday morning um, in the UK. Um, I'm going to tackle a series of cows or cow heads, um, probably just the cow's heads really, starting with a Highland cattle, so Scottish Highland cattle, which are the really hairy ones, but I'm going to do it multicoloured, um, a bit like my orangutan that I did. Um, a bit more abstract, okay, so uh, I'm going to start here with the horns, I'm only going to do it very small, okay, so if you want to join along with me, you can do, um, this is going to be really easy to do, um, so we've got the horns like this, and they're not pointed at the end, um, not sharp at the end, should I say. Okay, so we want the horn to be coming in from this kind of angle. Okay, um, then we've got a load of hair over here. So I'm just going to roughly sketch out where the hair is going to be and the shape of the head. Okay. And then we've got another horn coming here. And it goes down ever so slightly. This is from a photograph that uh, we took in Scotland um, a few years ago. So, it's more of a point on this side. Okay, this, this uh, more of an angle there. Okay, nice and thick on this on this side, okay, and it curves, get the hand out of the way in a minute, it curves up quite quickly to a similar kind of point, like that, okay. Uh, then we've got an ear coming in, so again I'll just sketch in where I want the ear to be, but this is going to be really hairy, okay. Um, I'm going to have a few bits of brown in here, but it's going to be really quite hairy. Um, and then we've got the hair coming in through here. Um, and the main body of the face, which is really hairy, down here. Okay, so I'm just getting the angle here. Um, this photo, he's got snow on him, a snow on his chin. Um, but I'm not going to do that because uh, white paper can't really do snow very well. Um, Okay, so what you want to do here is just draw in where these bits of hair are going to be. Okay. Um, so I'm doing it very loose. Now you need his nose in now. So the main thing to do is to get his nose right because that is really the center. This is his, not one of his nostrils. This is the center of the way he is dragged or drawn to. Okay, so we're going to do a multi, there's a lot of these um, for sale um, around, it, um, lots of artists have been doing these for, for quite some time now, um, these multicoloured highland cattle, so I thought I'd have a go, um, I've been taking some photos when about and about cows recently, quite close up of the noses and things, so quite fancy having a go at uh, that's one of those paintings very soon. Okay, so round here, it's going to be a bit pinkish. So we're going to bring this around like that. Um, and he looks in a real mood, this cow. So we can draw him kind of moody. They're enormous creatures. A little bit of a moany looking face. Miserable, bit like I felt today. Don't know why I've been feeling funny today. Lockdowns continuing in the UK and globally, and uh, and the best best of moods today, really. So there we go. Hopefully, I'll wake up in a better mood tomorrow. Okay, so um, we can't even see any any of this chap's um, eyes. He's extremely hairy, so 
and bring in some long sections of hair just so I know where I'm going to put in the hair, okay? And we've got the body coming in around this. Right, but we're just going to concentrate on just his head for tonight. I think I might bring his body in later in a different um, YouTube video. Just to let you know, today we've got 283 subscribers today to the channel, which is great news. Um, and we've gone into 6,000, nearly 6,000, nearly 6,000 actually, um, watches of the videos during COVID-19 lockdown. Um, okay, so, um, keep sharing it anyway, if you can. Um, to get more people on board before the end of lockdown. Um, okay, so this is all really quite, quite hairy. Okay, so we can just have a a good, uh, a good bash it. Lots of hair here. All right. Um, so we've got. He's got a bit of a beard here. So we'll we'll draw his beard on. Okay, uh, and I'm not gonna. I'm not going to um, rub any of this out, I'm just going to leave it, okay. Um, so I think the first thing I'll do, the very first thing, we'll just curve this little bit more in that area there. First thing I'm going to do, the very first thing, um, this is his other ear by the way, uh, which is kind of matching this this other one over here. We've got lots of hair coming off this, off this one, okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a little bit of brown in just to start it off, okay? So I'm going to just go into some of these areas with a little bit of splash of brown, okay? And just bring his head, um, a little bit of brown in here. Um, bring some darker brown in here in a little while as well, I think. Um, I'm just going to start playing with the colours now, okay, um, what I'm going to do is just grab a very dark brown just for this, just for this very, very edge here, okay, now in the original photograph he's actually brown and kind of gingery brown, um, light coloured brown hair, and lots of dark brown as well, so this is what we'll We'll try and achieve, we'll bring some browns in, but I want to bring some real crazy colours in as well. Okay, so you can just have a have a go with the different colours and just develop it as you as you go really. You want some nice thin lines and some thicker lines as well. Okay, and we want some kind of this kind of shape off the top of his head. Okay. So, but this is where we're going to go a little bit crazy. What we're going to do is, um, we're going to do his nose kind of pinkish, pinkish brown, okay? So, I'm going to bring his little bit of kind of brown in here, and then I'm going to go light pink, okay? So, we're going to go into his nostril pink, okay? In here, it's going to be a lot darker later. I'll just, just drop some colour in there for now. Okay. So, a little bit of colour, fleshy, pinky colour. Okay. Um, I'm going to go dark brown, sorry, lightish brown under his, in his mouth. Okay. Which we're going to do a little bit thicker in places underneath. All right. Um, and we've got some bits of brown around here as well. Okay, so just building up that colour now. All right, just building up that colour, that base colour. All right, so we'll just bring in some nice light browns now. Okay, just to bring in that little bit of depth. All right, so you're going to go over here with lightish brown, okay, 
So he has got lots of light brown on him here. And you want to try and avoid these straight lines if you can. With the hair, you've got to try and, most like the orangutan I did the other day, just, just start to work in these shapes so it looks like his hair's falling over the front of his face here. Okay, like that. Some lots of hair in here, lots of browns through here, okay. Um, so it's coming on nicely now. It'll take a while to do this. Darker under here, but not as dark as the other side. The light's shining on this side of his on the on the this side of his face, okay. Um, so we've got some lines coming in. Now what I'm going to do is now start to um, develop all kinds of crazy colours so this is where you just go a little bit mental with your colours really so really really nice shades of blue okay and try and finish them off if you can towards the top so it looks, na I know it's different crazy colours, but it looks natural then, rather than just added in. Okay, so if you're getting it, most of them from the top, it look like hair. Okay, a few, I'm going to just bring a few into the ears, so it, again, it looks like an extension of the hair. Okay, so that's uh, kind of sparkly blue I've used there. I'm going to go red now. Don't know why, just fancy doing a few red streaks. Okay, and again, same again, but you want to keep this shape, you want to follow these lines with the pencil that you've already drawn on. Okay, and keep referring to, um, well, you could do this with a photograph, any kind of photo that you could find on Pinterest or any internet web browser. Okay, just type in uh, Highland Cattle. Um, photographs, it brings lots in that you guys can practice. Um, I think what I'll do is, I quite like that red, so I might just continue that into his beard. Okay. Um, continue that into here. We'll have a little bit of darker red in. More of a shade there. Okay. Um, but it's coming on really well, a little bit of red in here, maybe a couple in here, one on the outside edge. Um, now, turquoise, don't know why, let's just see what that looks like, that's cool. Try and do some thicker ones as well if you can, okay, as well as some thinner lines. This is the kind of um, art I really enjoy doing at the moment, it's crazy. What you want to do is not see any of the white. That's it. Okay. Um, and maybe just to block out a few of these little bits. Which, so we suggest that the hair is starting at the top here. Okay, and we're building in this colour so that we can't really see that... Um, pencil line all right um, but what we do want to see we really do want to see is this um, is this face here okay so what we can see of the mouth we want to really build that up okay so we bring that forward by darkening underneath if we can and around these edges okay so we'll bring in some more <clears throat> brown here, just to suggest. Um, and we'll go a little bit browner in this nostril here, just to deaden that colour slightly, and a little bit more in this corner of the nostril. Okay, um, but we've got some browns across here. So you want to make it look like hair coming off. Okay, um, so you can work this in more and more now. Lips I need to be looking a bit hairier than they they were before. Now I'm just going to bring in a little bit of grey through this central part here because I think he's a little bit too white. So 
So we'll bring in some grey here, which is like silvery grey. Um, and that's great. So um, to his antlers, I'm going to do these, I think I'm going to do these grey, you know. Uh, a little bit of brown maybe towards the top. But what you want is a bit darker through the middle here. So we're just pressing down. If you haven't got a silvery grey, a normal grey is fine. Even pencil at this stage is absolutely fine as well. Okay, we have 15 minutes on the clock, so we won't take too much more time on this tonight. Um, but we can always come back and add more to this if we feel like it. Okay, um, but we've got some grey up here in the end of the antler or his horn. I keep saying antler, I'm thinking about deer. Um, so we've got a little bit of brownie orange through here. So I'm going to bring in that natural colour. I know I've done this completely unnatural colour, but I'm bring some natural colour in. Um, the, this is the actual colour of the horn now. Just to give it a little bit of... Um, a little bit of natural, uh, you know, a bit of a natural touch really. I know it's crazy colouring, but um, and there's, there's his ear. We want to make sure that we can see that this is an ear here, he, an ear here. Um, so we'll, we'll colour this, this is like a lighter brown here. Um, we'll colour this section in now, light, lighter brown here, okay? Um, and we're going to just go over some of these white specks with this brown, just filling in that those some of those gaps. Okay, um, but not all of them. We're going to carry on with some mad colouring in a minute. Okay, um, so there we are. Um, it's looking a little bit better, I think now. Um, all right, so just shading in this little bit, this area here, browns, okay. And there we are. So happier with that now, I think, um, than I was. A little bit of brown through here. The top edge, some brown in here as well, okay. Just doing this natural kind of brown these brown streaks in here. And I'm gonna go to my darker brown actually, just to bring in a little bit of darker, even darker than that. Um, much darker brown now. The darkest brown you can get, just to do a splash of, a splash of natural brown coming through. I'm going back to what we did at the start, it's a bit more darker brown coming in now. Um, okay, so, we can go back to crazy colours. A bit of lilac. Okay. A bit of lilac coming through here. I'm pressing down quite hard here because the lilac's quite light. Probably should have done that first, really. Probably lay down some of the lighter colours first. Um, and then finish off with the with the darker colours. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to do black. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I think what we'll have is a bit darker brown in here. Okay, just to highlight the fact that he's got a mouth. We want to see that mouth. All right, we want to see that nose. Um, I want to see all this, all this detail here on his nose, okay. Um, what we don't want is it to look unnatural and just placed on. Okay, so a little bit darker in here. All right. A little bit darker. Yeah, that's better than the gingery colour. Okay, um, <clears throat> so we can carry on with this as much as we want, really. Um, I haven't put any yellows in. I might do some streaks of yellow as well. Okay. Yellow is quite difficult to um, fill in some of these white bits. A little bit difficult to see sometimes if you're using lots of browns. Um, 
almost becomes kind of brown coloured. Okay, um, and then bright blue. We haven't had any bright blue yet, so I'm just going to bring in some bright blue into some, some of these white sections now. Okay, because I don't want too many white bits. Um, a little bit of lunatic, what sky blue up here. Okay, and then some real crazy shapes as well with the bright, crazy blue. Okay, um, not too many of those though. Most of them go in the direction of the hair, which is down. Okay, um, and we bring some more colour into this area here. Okay, um, a little bit of green. That's it, and then we'll go a bit darker up here. Lay over a little bit of that green, so it come bl blends in here. A little bit of green over the top of that old dark brown, um, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, for a sketch, it's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Um, you can carry on as as much as you like. Okay, you can get rid of all the white bits. Quite like a bit of white in there. Um, the important thing is you bring most of the lines from this top edge, okay? Um, and you just lay out what the, the shape of your cow as you're going along, okay? Um, I'm wondering whether I should just put a spot of black in there, okay? So I might perhaps just do a little bit of, um, this is a Stabilo fine liner here. Yeah, quite like that. A little bit of black over the top. Okay. Stabilo coming in nicely there. Alright. And then you can just bring in some of the... Into this area here. Not too many. You don't really want too many pen lines on it. Okay. Um, and, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, lots of colours. Choose whatever colours you like. Uh, I've got all sorts of colours I haven't actually used here. Um, but that is our um, Highland Highland cow, Scottish Highland cow. So hope everybody's well anyway. Um, stay safe out there, guys, and see you very soon.